Well, I've got some downtime and I'm waiting for my leaf blower to recharge, so I thought I'd go ahead and, and do a requested video. Somebody wanted me to do another Walking Dead video already. Okay, cool, we're gonna do it. And I'll try not to cut it off early this time. This time we're gonna talk about Fear the Walking Dead, which is like a companion series. Now, some things that the Fear the Walking Dead has going for it. First of all, it's not beholden to any comic book story. Thank God. I mean, this is getting ridiculous with Walking Dead. Throwing all of these cartoon-like characters into the mix that, you know, may have translated really well in print and in comic book format, but they're not really translating as well, I don't believe, on the screen. And it takes away from the realism and everything else. So this is a brand new, fresh storyline they can write as they go. So that's really cool. Uh, the uncool part is the season really dragged. The first season really dragged for me. I, I had to force myself to watch it. I had to force myself to watch the pilot. But I got through it. Now that we're into, I don't know where we are. Had, did we end the second season? Or are we halfway through the second season? I'm not even sure. It's hard to tell the way they jumble it around, but... The problem I'm having with the show is I don't care about anyone on the show. Like, no one. The only person I care about is, I guess, I don't even know anybody's name. That's how much I don't care about him. The daughter of, of the, the, the people from El Salvador, um, and I don't know, he might be dead. The, the mom is dead. Uh, but the daughter is, like, in a pickup truck heading to New Mexico or something. She's kind of cool. I mean, but everybody else, I don't care if they live or die. The only two characters I, I who I know their name on the show for sure would be Travis and Nick, and that's just because the mom says it constantly. And by the way, she could live or die, I don't care. But again, the cool part is they can improve on it as they go, hopefully, um, showing us some different things. I'm glad that they went into the desert for one to see how this is happening in the desert. I always thought that would be an interesting thing to see. I also think it'd be interesting to see what's going on like in Canada or colder places. This whole cliffhanger mid-season or end of season thing that AMC or Robert Kirkman or perhaps the showrunners feel like that people enjoy they don't we don't like cliffhangers comic book people might like them because that's what happens at the end of every comic book there's a cliffhanger and you buy the next comic this is why I don't do videos during the day people are walking around upstairs constantly but uh no one else likes that wrap the story up don't give us a teaser of next time. Just wrap it up and let us relax for a while. If you did a good job, we'll come back and watch you next time. Don't force us to come back next time. Fear the Walking Dead. Cool concept. A lot of potential. Don't care about any of the characters. So anyway, there's my Fear the Walking Dead rant, for what it was worth. I'll do more if you guys want more. So stay tuned. We'll talk to you soon. Practice and enjoy.